Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a very short version of Trading Bitcoin uh, with your host Tone Vase. I am in Malta in exactly 30 minutes. Oh, I should probably be charging my laptop before it dies in the middle of the damn stream. Um, in exactly 30 minutes, I have to go do a walkthrough of the venue where the conference is going to be. And I still got to jump in the shower before I get to the venue because uh, I am at an Airbnb near the hotel for now. I'll probably stay at the hotel during the conference. So we're going to jump right into it. This is going to be insanely quick. Uh, so uh, in Walta, we are here for the Understanding Bitcoin conference. I hope my audio is good. I hope my video is good. Uh, we're just going to run through this real, real quick because it, it's really like crazy what's happening in Bitcoin right now while I'm going to be really busy with the conference and we are planning to bring you a live stream. We will do our best to do that. Uh, uh, please uh, check it out. Check out the website. Uh, we may have one more room available for sale as of today, actually. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Powell uh, had to cancel. I think we are uh, Powell... Uh, Kravchenko had a last minute uh, emergency and can't make it. Uh, so uh, we did uh, lose one more speaker, unfortunately, but it's okay. We still have plenty uh, and it'll be great. Okay, uh, real quick, let's just go straight to Bitcoin. A couple of things. So I, I was telling you guys I was going to exit my GBTC position. I did. Uh, here's my broker. But the thing is, my broker, like right here, that doesn't, I, I closed the broker, ended up closing it last night, so I can't show you the actual execution of the trade. So uh, real quick right now, and this is so freaking dangerous that I shouldn't even do it. I have to make sure that my account number isn't displayed. Um, so here was that GBTC trade. You can see when I entered it at exactly 10 a.m. on 11.20, I entered a quantity of 5,000. Uh, the price was $5.10. I totally mistimed my entry. I took a thousand shares off the table at 552. By the way, this displays um, that, that, that entire trade. I haven't really done any other trading, that's it. There's only one other trade that I did uh, and I, have to, I wasn't gonna show it to you at all, but it did involve options on Facebook and you're not gonna see the rest of it. Uh, this is just one, uh, one part of it. And uh, because if I scroll this again, anymore, you see my account number. So I initially had this like scroll to the top and I'm like, great, you don't see the options trades, but, uh, but then you see the account number. So this way, as long as I don't touch the scroll bar. And uh, you can see that I exited 2000 shares uh, two days ago on the second at the price of, um, that was the closing, at a price of 566. Uh, I, I, I thought I got a better uh, fill, but unfortunately that was it. That was when I started to drop. And the rest of it, I took last night. Uh, I took last night at 624. So that was, the, that was the GBTC trade. It wasn't as lucrative as I thought, as I really wanted it to be. And obviously it took way longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, but hey, 4,000 bucks in my retirement account that I can't touch till I'm 65, ain't bad, you know? And that's how you grow an account. Uh, so I'll take that trade. Uh, each and every time. You really should have made it a higher, but like, again, I can't really focus on trading much. So after that, what did Bitcoin do and why? And I already took the short trade. I got impatient. I didn't want to wait. Uh, we were at dinner. I saw Bitcoin pumping and those that were around me literally heard me say, holy shit, I have to go short Bitcoin. And, um, and I did. Um, I can show you why and where I did it. So, and uh, this video will end fairly quickly. So we are, um, um, so here is the weekly nine. Uh, this is the weekly nine. We still have, today's Thursday, we still have three or four days to go. And I think this is going to pull back. Here is the three day chart. The three day chart was on a nine yesterday and now we're over. So my goal was, hey, I wanna catch the weekly nine and the three day nine as close to the top as possible. The daily, uh, this is the 12 hour one, sorry. The daily, that's the weekly, there's the daily. The daily is also on a nine. Now I love it when the nine swings you up but the eight candle was swinging up and it was about to roll over. So again, I knew that the nine was coming and my goal was to get the short above 5,300, which I didn't do, but uh, I did my best. So, because it was hard to time this damn thing. So here is the 12 hour chart, the 12 hour chart. I really wanted it to time it. I really wanted Bitcoin to pump to 53, 5400, like 
tonight, not last night. So I had to, uh, we were having dinner with like the Blockstream team and uh, Daisy, thank you for coming by dinner. And uh, it was great. Uh, Adam Back, Giacomo, and uh, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of Blockstream guys. And uh, it's an eight in about five hours, it's going to be a nine. So I don't mind prematurely jumping on the short. Uh, the four hour chart was not great. Again, I wanted the 12 hour chart to get me to a nine tonight with the 12 hour chart getting me to a 13 uh, tonight as well. And uh, the four hour chart was actually bullish when I took the trade. The hourly chart, uh, let's go to the hourly chart first. This is the hourly chart. Uh, the hourly chart was also bullish on a green two going above a green one, but um, but I saw Bitcoin pumping so much and I knew that the higher level time frames were on a nine. So what did I do? Uh, I went to my favorite time frame, which is the 10 minute time frame. This is my short term timing indicator. And the 10 minute time frame gave me a beautiful nine right there. Uh, it looks like New York time. It was 1730. Uh, but that's New York time, right? Like I'm not in New York time. I'm in Malta. This was already really late, which is why I didn't really, I, I, was, and I was tired because I've been waking up at like five in the morning the last two nights getting to the airport. So I wasn't going to do a stream or anything. So I just took the trade and passed out and uh, also had a few glasses of wine. So the execution wasn't great, but here it is. It was a nine on a 10 minute followed by a price flip followed by a red two going below a red one. And because I was tired and I wanted to get to bed, I just took the short, okay? There's the short. I wanted it above 5,300 tonight, but it ended up being just under 5,300 and a little bit early, uh, like about 20 hours earlier than I wanted to make the trade. Uh, I wanted to make that trade, you know, tonight before the carnivory dinner so that I can do a video on it and stuff. But it pumped so hard last night, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to risk it. So where is my risk? So, um, so this was when it actually activated. Um, I jumped the gun and th this candle was a volatile candle and there it is. So I, here are the coordinates. Uh, I don't actually have a target. Like my price target is, like I said in another video, is always Lambo, uh, but my risk, my risk, I'm going to use the, the, the TD risk line. I'm just going to stick with the indicator. I used the, um, I, I used the TD sequential to enter the trade. I will use the TD sequential for my stop loss. I thought it was reasonable. The stop loss, uh, according to TD sequential, is this risk line that automatically gets drawn in with my code. And it's at uh, 54, 20, and 7 cents. Uh, that's where my stop loss is. Uh, at the moment, that stop loss is pretty much mental, but because I was too lazy and too tired to actually enter the stop loss into the exchange, but I'm going to do that uh, at some point today or tomorrow. Um, but it's also close to my full liquidation of my account. So it doesn't really matter if I forget to do the stop loss, it's really irrelevant. My account will just get liquidated because I only have in that account what I'm willing to lose on this particular trade. I also willing to add to this trade if the situation calls for it. So what I really want to see is a few more nines and more confidence in this short trade. I wasn't joking when I said I was planning to short Bitcoin on all of these nines. I just did a bunch of interviews. I will trust my indicator. I will trust that we are topping right now. We are topping this week. Is it possible I mistimed it? Is it possible we're going to swing up one more time into 56? It's possible I'll have my stop loss hit. I will then reevaluate. Are we breaking out into a bull market or will there be a better shorting opportunity? As of right now, I believe that this peak, this top, this top is in. We are pulling back. Um, break even stop loss. I didn't set it yet. Like I'm confident in this trade. I'm not, I'm not lowering my stop loss yet. The trade isn't that big. I'm actually willing to add to this trade. Uh, well, not big is relative. It could be big for some. And uh, Someone's asking about a break-even stop loss. I haven't thought about it yet, and I got to jump in the shower, and I got to go to a meeting. So uh, this video is going to end. I'll let you guys know on the next video if I end up setting up break-even stop loss. I am considering it, uh, but 
like it, it did move a lot. Like I really should set a break even stop loss. I just wanted to show you guys my original stop loss at this point. Uh, I would actually, uh, and there's really no reason for me to have with the original stop loss. I will be lowering that stop loss to the top of the candle and I'm getting very close to lowering it to a break even. But my original stop loss when the trade was entered was uh, the risk line. Uh, that was the original stop loss uh, was the TD risk. And I used the 10 minute TD sequential. But the only reason I went into the 10 minute TD sequential is because my, my weekly, my daily, my three day uh, were on nines. My 12 hour is on an eight about to flip to a nine. It was unfortunate. I really wanted the perfect timing of the four hour and the one hour being on nines and 13s. But uh, the, the, the way Bitcoin ran up, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't want to risk it. So there it is. I'm in a profitable trade. Uh, you don't have to believe me. I'm not going to show you my trading account because the last time I did, it ended up costing me an unreasonable amount of money by being banned. Uh, so there it is. I am short uh, once again. Uh, later, guys. Um, Got to uh, go to the venue. Stop screen share. And uh, I'll try to do another stream tonight if I can, but I can't promise. Bye.